the road interview pro let's unbox it now this right here ladies and gentlemen is the new interview pro from road i was very excited to get it i'm gonna be honest i was kind of holding back from buying it but i went ahead and made the purchase because i just liked it when i first seen it i liked it and this is probably like you know one of the worst things to do right buy gear that you might not need but I do think I need it, right? Let me try to justify it real quick. I do want to do more on the street interviews. So that's what made me, you know, want to go ahead and get it. But anyways, this review is on the interview pro or this unboxing, should I say. So here it is. I got it from uh, Amazon, I believe. It was, I believe, $250. And like I said, the minute I seen this, I said, man, I have to get it. And I went ahead and got it. So I'm going to open it right here. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I opened it earlier, just uh, the first box of it. But I said, you know what? Paying $250, i am going to go ahead and, uh, you know, get some uh, content out of this. You know, for anybody else out there that hasn't got it or is thinking about getting it. So here's the interview pro, the unboxing, and a pretty good little box, 32-bit float recording, broadcast quality, omnidirectional, great audio every time. That's what I like about it. It has a 32-bit because I actually have the old uh, wireless uh, Go, the first one they made, and I didn't like the really the, uh, the audio. My, my voice is real loud, so it would always, you know, kind of pop and make a noise. This is pretty interesting. I kind of tore off the other piece right here, y'all, but if you can see, it says made for iPhone and iPad. So I don't know what exactly what that means. I mean, I, I know what it means, but it's kind of interesting that it even says that, right? Uh, I've heard other people say that really this is not made for, or you have to have a connection. Or I forgot what they said, that it wasn't compatible with the iPhone or iPad, but it says right here. So that's pretty interesting. I digress. Sorry for blabbering y'all. I don't really do these unboxings much, but I want to start doing them. So first thing you do, you open the case and it has the actual mic. I know the mic's in here. Like I said, the first thing I did, and then I said, no, I'm going to go ahead and and put it up, you know, to do a formal unboxing. And what comes with this, I'll put this to the side for now. What comes with this is an awesome USB-C cable. These right here, I'm so glad that they started making USB-C USB cables because the USB, uh, the regular USBs, they would always falter on me on different devices. Put that to the side. It comes with this. I'm not really a fan of this, y'all. Let me know if you are. I'm not a fan of this actual windscreen, this pop filter, should I say. If my phone camera will focus over here. Let me make sure my stuff is on focus. Okay. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this. Just the shape of it's kind of weird. And I hate that it has the road sign on there, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and try to find me one uh, later. It's probably not a big deal. Okay. And we'll continue unboxing. Regular stuff from Road. Quick start guide. Make sure it's in focus. Road. See, this is the one I'm going to get. Everybody knows this one, right? The problem with this one, the reason why I didn't want to get it is because it's $400. and uh, this is the wireless. This is the me. The pros, the uh, $400 version has two of these. And but I asked Rode on Facebook, y'all, and they respond pretty good. Right. I asked them if they were going to release any new products. Right. And they said, go for they gave me the OK. They said, go for the, the Rode uh, Pro. Uh, what is it? The wireless pro. I forgot what it was called. They're all kind of confusing. And they said to go for it. So I took that as a sign that maybe they're not going to have a new, you know, mic system. You know, maybe for another six months to a year. So I'm going to go ahead and just buy that other one because I, I want to hook up this. I want to be able to hook up this mic to my phone. Now, if this hooks up directly to the phone, I wouldn't even need that wireless, uh, the pro system. But at the same time, I do want to have two mics later on. So I do want to get it. So I'm kind of holding off on it, especially if if I can use this wireless uh, pro, this interview, this interview pro, my bad, with the iPhone. If I can do on the street interviews. So I'm trying to get some uh, content. I'm trying to do some new content. Here comes with the a mic holder that's pretty good road is very blatant about their, their advertising so there's that all right there's the box y'all kind of good finally get rid of this stuff and don't have to have it everywhere in the studio or, or my wife has to come clean up and you know freaking mess all the time so there's this put that to the side and let's get to the microphone so nice little case which you know really i don't ever use these cases once this stuff is out implemented in the studio it's over and here's the mic. I did pull it out already one time, but like I said, I just put it right back. But the reason why I really like this mic from then till now to when I seen it is because uh, if I can get this focus over here, it just is the beauty. I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is very light. And again, like I said, what I liked about it is, man, it's just, it's beautifully made. I mean, it's very light. Take this off of here. Put that away. Hey man, beautifully made product right here, y'all. That's really why I liked it because when I seen it, uh, it had 32-bit 
float. And what I liked about it is you can actually record internally into here. Now, like I said, I wish or I hope that I can be able to, you know, connect this directly to my phone when I'm out there on the street doing uh, on the street interviews. But uh, I'm going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know if I need to buy that other system or if they're going to have some kind of update where you can just do it, you know, with the software on the mic that can connect directly to the your iPhone. The way I see content, y'all, I'm more of the trying to make it quick, get it out quick. You know, it's kind of that's my style. Everybody has their own style. But like I said, it's just uh, that's just how it is. You know, I want to get content out quickly and I want to do the, the least amount of of production that I can, you know, call me lazy. So with that, I'll show it to everybody real quick. Here it is. Like I said, it's lightweight. You know, it's something nice to have it in my hand. So here's the actual unboxing. Like I said, I just wanted to show that real quick. And of course, has all this. Put this on right here. And again, I, I'm not a fan of this foam. I'm trying to show you how I do it. It's not very hard. Right? You know, you kind of be kind of, you try to be somewhat since delicate with it when you first get it, but we know what's in the bill in the bag and get thrown around every now, every now and then, right? So it's pretty good. Again, I'm not a fan of this actual uh, foam windscreen. I'm gonna try to find me another one, but I think it'll work for now. Pretty interesting how you kind of just, there's your USB-C port, if you can see it right there. I love that it has USB-C. I actually wish, though, to be honest, that... Okay, so I guess it you unscrew it and then take it off. And then, I guess, it's kind of weird. It's kind of odd. I don't know how that's going to work. Let's see, unscrew it, pull it off. It's kind of weird right there. Let's see if I'll get the hang of it. But there's the actual microphone. There's that power buttons on the bottom. I don't know if you can really see it. Sorry about the lighting. It looks like it's trying to find, I don't know how that works, but it's trying to find my roadcaster. I have the roadcaster duo here, and then it has the record, hit the button, and it's on. You know, I don't know if people are going to like that. I don't know if I'm going to like that when I'm out there, but you can be able to tell it's recording right there. Uh, there's a mute button. Pretty good if you want to. I would say turn it off. You want to cough or something, but yeah, it feels good. So here it is, right? Uh, again, like I said, I was never really a fan of this foam, but there it is. And here we go. So the one thing that struck out to me about this is when I'm holding it right, is just, man, if anything, this right here, the reason why I liked it when I seen it was, you know, just how uh, the quality of it, how it looks. Now, I kid you not. People, when they watch videos, you know, it's one thing to have even the the wire, the wire wireless, the Go Pro. I forgot what it's called. The other road item, right, with the little skinny stick in the actual box. I have the uh, first version, but even seeing that looks a little, in my opinion, you know, not as professional, right? Now, this right here, when I seen this at the, uh, I forgot which, uh, you know, unveiling uh, place. They had a convention where they had this. Forgive me for not knowing the exact name off top, but when I seen them using this and I saw the capabilities of this actual product, I said, man, I got to get it because it just looks the part, right? So again, here it is. Uh, under the bottom of the microphone is the on button. I'll press it real quick. And I think it's on, right? Record, press it, mute, and it records on board. And then I, I did on the other video, right? Unscrew it, pop it open. And then there's your USB-C. It's kind of weird how you do that. I'm going to get used to doing that. So there's this. So I'm going to pair it to my Rodecaster Pro and we'll get an audio sample momentarily. But again, like I said, what I liked about this when I seen it and I had to have it was the fact that the way it looks, and I kid you not, even holding it, right? Looking at it, you know, look at me now, right? How do I look? But holding it brings a whole nother, you know, aspect to the ball game. basically. I can see myself interviewing somebody Boom, boom. I'm controlling the conversation. I have the microphone. I look official. And with that, I think that right there with the with the proper mindset can really help someone elevate their uh, content creation game as far as having a professional mic, mic that has 32-bit uh, recording. Basically, this won't clip. The first microphone I used from Rode, it would always clip. So I always had problems. With this, you're not going to clip. 
uh, again, you, you can never say never, but for the most part, 32 bit recording from what I know about it, right? It saves your sample to where you really can't clip no matter how loud you get or how soft you get with the mic. So this is going to give you a uh, awesome uh, sound, a great professional look. And like I said, when you're out there recording, it's going to do something mentally. I believe it's going to help you, you know, uh, reach a higher level in your content creation. Now let's get an audio sample. Check it out. I'm using this channel right here and I put a uh, wireless, no device paired. And what I'm going to do here is, uh, hold the button. I'd, I guess I'm just doing this off top y'all. So let's see if it even works. Pair new device. I'm sorry. Uh, press power more than once. Pressed it and bam, look at that. It connected within two to three, three seconds. Y'all mic check, mic check. Uh, of course it has processing and effects. Turn that off for now. Leave this on echo. Okay. Off. Reverb off, and I'll leave the regular effects on. Mic check, mic check. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next scene where we will uh, show the quality of it. So now that I got it paired, y'all, I'm going to switch over from my actual mic here to the Interview Pro. Let's check it out. Now we are on the Interview Pro. Uh, this is with some light processing. I put it in here real quick. I have the uh, gain assist on auto. This is with light processing. The levels look like they're pretty high, to be honest. Again, uh, I haven't even heard this back at all, but I'm just you know doing it uh, a quick video to show y'all. Here's without the effects. Mic check one two. No effects. No pro uh, processing. No processing on whatsoever. Gain assist is on auto. Let's put it on off. This is gain assist, no effects, nothing running through this at all. I can kind of tell that the audio went down a little bit, so I'll raise it up a little bit. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. So this is probably uh, at a comparable level to what it was earlier. I'll raise it up a couple decibels. Again, this is the wireless interview pro. Uh, $250 microphone from Rode. Uh, the hottest uh, item from Rode, I believe, besides the cage and the, uh, the mount for the phone. So here it is. Let me know what you think, y'all. How does it sound? Let's go ahead and turn it back down. Put my effects back on. Gain assist on auto. So this is with the effects and gain assist back on auto and the level back to the middle. So anyways, there's the mic, y'all. And again, uh, this is wireless. Check it out. So I can be back here. <laughs> Same good audio. Kick back. And the, and the good thing I, I liked about this too, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to be honest, get this mic out the way. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> the mic's always dummy, right? But the point is, um, what I did like about this mic, right? And what I thought about doing is getting two of these. Now I'm going to get the wireless uh, pro. Let me make sure that's the right name. I had to look it up. Yes, the wireless go. I'm getting the wireless go the pro tomorrow. Or should I say I'm planning on getting it. But I also thought about getting two of these because you can basically set up. This is what I like about it, right? You could set up a podcast um, with just two of these. Um iPhone, right? A good iPhone 15, you know, even the 13, 12, 10, maybe. And you could have you basically a podcast set up anywhere, record directly onto here. And you got you yourself a show, right? So two of these plus an iPhone and you got uh, content right there all day. And then if you can connect it to your phone, though, that's even better because then that's even less processing. I digress. So here I am, y'all with the mic. Get back up on it. And there we go. And here's the actual stand. I went ahead and connected it. Hold on. And here it is, hands-free. So like I said, no wires, this is a go. This is a win in my opinion. And I can also tell from the audio, it sounds pretty good in my headphones. Again, this is with the minimal processing on and the uh, gain assist. So not too bad. Also, thinking, I forgot about this. This mic is connected to the Rodecaster Duo wirelessly. So this is going over basically a uh, Bluetooth, uh, you know, sound waves, air waves, however you want to call it. So it's, you know, wireless to the fullest extent. That's where we're going, ladies and gentlemen, wireless to the max with the capabilities of recording going into the actual product. That's why I like this mic because I can just go hit the road. Don't got to worry about nothing else. Record high quality 32 bit audio into this mic and it's good. It's I can set it, forget it, download it, match it up with the audio. And it also has a time code on here, which I'm not going to touch on. There's also an app. You can uh, plug this into your computer to, to go further into the dynamics and the processing and to get the files off of your mic to your computer. There's, you know, of course the Rode app, but I'm not gonna touch on that right now. I just wanna do a quick unboxing and an audio test. And I think it's a go, y'all. So let me know what you think in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, unboxing of the Rode Wireless Pro. Let me know what you think, y'all. Like I said, I wanted it when I seen it. I went ahead and finally, you know, uh, bought it. 
and I got it now. And now I'm gonna try to go get some interviews on the street. That's kind of where my content's going. And again, tomorrow I'm gonna be going to Best Buy, hopefully getting the um in the wireless go, the pro one, the four hundred dollar one with the two mics, just so I can connect this to my phone. Unless, like the box said, I can connect this directly to my phone. I don't know. With that, y'all, thanks for checking this this out. Uh I don't really do that many unboxings, uh, but I did the best I can or could. So thank you. And uh let me know what you think in the comments, y'all. I'm out of here.